Voters in Wake County could have two big decisions this fall, potentially leading to higher taxes. County leaders want more money for buses and schools, but some people are worried about the impact on their wallets. WNCN's Michael Highland is here with a closer look. Michael? With all the people moving into Wake County, the school board wants more schools, and county commissioners want a better transit system. But some voters question whether it's all really needed. Isaiah Sconyers is waiting for his bus to Wake Tech. It should have been here a few minutes ago. Reliability is just one of the things he'd like to see addressed in the bus system. There are some things that could use an improvement as far as um, free Wi-Fi and whatnot. This fall, Wake County commissioners are expected to ask voters to approve a half cent increase in the sales tax to go toward transit. If it's only half percent, I can live with that. But at the same time, the school board wants voters to back the first part of a $2 billion plan to build 22 more schools. I don't like the thought of increasing my property taxes. Anthony Pecoraro lives in Raleigh and is part of the Wake County Taxpayers Association. He questions the growth projections and worries the county may take on debt for schools without letting voters get a say to avoid having both the sales tax hike and the school bond on the ballot. The county could issue what are called limited obligation bonds and let taxpayers start voting on the rest of the plan in 2018. The only thing I object to is trying to sneak through these things and not letting the people's voice be heard. People who like public education also understand the importance of transit and transportation options. County Commissioner Sig Hutchinson said Monday he wants county leaders to consider having voters weigh in on both issues. Optimistic they'll vote yes on each. What we're trying to do is create a 21st century community of which transportation and transit and public education clearly are part of that vision. If county commissioners try to move forward with the school funding plan without a referendum, members of the Wake County Taxpayers Association say they're going to look into legal options to try to stop it.